Go, be free. Oh no. Nope. She's not feeling it today. Come on, baby. I can honestly tell that they're dying. They're already dying. They're dying. What was my new title you just gave me? Crank can. A crank can. You needed a crank can. Add that to my resume. <laughs> Nine tons of cork. Oh. See all these people posting their workouts. Well, there's mine. <laughs> That should be a word, rotisserate. I'm gonna rotisserate myself so I don't get burnt in one spot. It's a beautiful morning down at the creek. Here's hoping that um, the hunters can see this and not run through the gate anymore, through the fence. <laughs> Closing some gates so we can turn some cows on some grass. It's the bottom gate, go back down, hit it go against that post. Yep, so have we. These girls are gonna go out on some grass. No hay today. You get grass. What about that? Go, be free. Go, babies, go. Okay. This way. Oh, fryer. Oh, it's a nice sight. Yeah. Hey, mama. Happy eating. Happy grazing. Look. Last smell of hay today. Let's see if we're gonna go get more. It is warming up very quickly. I'm gonna have to shed some, some layers here in a second. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend. Seriously beautiful. That means more mowing, weeding. Yeah. Bonnie, what are you doing? <laughs> Sitting here waiting on y'all to get back. It looked like a good place to sit, huh? Yes, it did. Yes, it did, Ma. <laughs> okay, y'all. It is a beautiful day, and I am going to do some spraying. I have done a lot of weeding by hand, but I'm going to go around and do some spraying. And I am going to try something I have never done. One of my viewers, B, I'm pretty sure it was BRD8838. Thank you for the recipe. He gave me a recipe for, um... What is this? It's a vinegar mix. It's, so it's a gallon of white vinegar, one cup of, I almost said sugar, like I'm making tea, one cup of salt, and a few tablespoons of Dawn, as in three, a few, three. If you think I'm gonna measure that, you're wrong, but I'll get it somewhere close. And um, I'm gonna see how it works. Evidently, this stuff is supposed to be great. I've been looking at the interwebs and a lot of people are talking about it. So I'm gonna give it a try. It's cheap. The vinegar costs like $2. Uh, yeah, we'll see. And obviously it's eco-friendly or whatever you want to call that. Safe. So, here we go. Today's kitchen is the picnic table. The table on the porch. <laughs> it's like science class. Oh, oops, easy Murdy, slow down, 
We're not in a race. It's just not in me. I'm not patient. All right. Salt. It's salt. I promise. I did put salt in here. And Dawn. Oh, you know what I want to start singing, don't we? Delta Dawn, what sad flower you have on. Could it be a faded rose from days gone? I can't hit that next note. Anyway, I bet you have that, that song in your head for a while now. Okay, I'm going to take the top off. And if you don't know that song, you need to go look it up and get to living because that is an amazing song. All right. All right, that, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna shake her up. Oh, I got it on my face, but it's not round up, so whatever. All right, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna shake it and I'm gonna pump it and I'm gonna spray it. That's what we're doing today. gallons of vinegar. Done and done. Stay tuned and I'll let you know how it worked. <laughs> we meet again. I'm going over to Papa's house to mow and uh this morning it wouldn't start. <laughs> Lawrence tried it. So I don't know if it was a fluke yesterday or what but even with this on this morning it wouldn't start. So we'll see. We'll see if it starts now. Fingers crossed since it's been charging. Oh, no. Nope. She's not feeling it today. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. Woo! Okay. Here we go. Yes. y'all I, I just finished mowing and so it's been I don't know a couple hours since I sprayed and I can honestly tell that they're dying they're already dying they're dying tell I can tell the wowzer trouser how about them apples <laughs> that is pretty stinking cool right here can you see the difference in the color right along the edge where it's wilting Right there. You tell? <laughs> I'll be darned. This stuff actually works. We'll see how long it lasts. Like if it really kills them, kills them. I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed though. Got another load. This is three? Three loads. And one more, he said. Four. Four. All right. <laughs> What was my new title you just gave me? Crank a crank can. You needed a crank can. Add that to my resume. Jeez. I feel like this thing needs some cruel oil. What are we doing? Cranking up nine tons of corn, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nine tons of corn. Oh. All right, this is my exercise today. I hold it right there. No problem. I can hold it. Watch it, make sure. I don't know if that's going to clear. Oh, uh, let me give it one more. See all these people posting their workouts. 
Well, there's mine. More tight hands. <laughs> Oh, good. And one last thing to do. Yeah. All right, back to this trap to get the crawl, see? <laughs> For another rusty jack. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we're doing. We're unhooking things and rehooking things and moving things. That's about all I know. He explained it to me, but I. I didn't catch everything he was laying down, so I'm just doing what he asked me to do. <laughs> So basically you had to get Big Red off of the, unhook from the corn trailer and hook it back to the hay trailer because he's on his way to get a couple load, a couple bales of hay. And he needs that tractor for something. I'm not really sure what. I'm not really sure what. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be outside. I've been outside all day. When it's this pretty, I, I mean, I'm not good at cleaning house on a cold, nasty day, much less a day like this, so house can wait. Good day. Oh, me. It's a good day to be alive. They're all good days to be alive. Just remember that. He's pointing at the turkeys. I see them. Y'all can't see them, and that window's too dirty. I can see the sun shining off their backs down there. Uh, sorry. This, this vehicle doesn't have power windows or I would roll the window down. <laughs> That's where the kids hunted this morning with their dad. They saw a bunch, but they didn't get one. They didn't get close enough. He said they're within 10 yards of where he took the kids hunting this morning. <laughs> of course. Uh, scoot over, Bonnie. This morning, how far away were they? Well, they would they come out up here on the hill. They were 75 yards away this morning. Oh, gosh. They need to be out here in the afternoon, obviously, then. Yeah, Noted. They're playing in the playhouse. And the kids. Well, they're having fun. There's, there'll be more days. 5.30. Now we know, 5.30. All yeah, right. There won't be many more days. They don't do the same thing every day, but a few days, and then they change up. Oh, well, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see. Can I still see him? Uh, yeah, I see him down there. You see, they're like the light shining on their back. They're right there in the bottom. <laughs> Looks like several. There's three of them. Oh. Three big long beards. Oh gosh. Uh, I know I haven't got him on camera much lately. It just seems like we've just been rolling. So I figured I'd video him talking <laughs> to me. Just talking. He's got a lot on his mind. There's a lot to do. A lot to get done. It's go time. It's go time. So, he's trying to go. We're trying to go. <laughs> Going as fast as we can. He's back. <laughs> And 
And no, I still haven't washed my windows. Hmm. Let's go get the farmer, Bonnie. He's gonna have to get in there. You're gonna have to share. You're gonna have to share your space. Okay, I've been told we have to unload a gravity body. I'm not really sure what a gravity body is, but I'm about to find out. Okay, I'm listening. I want to catch an edge of that angle line just on the end of the ball. Pick them up enough. You think that's two for four. Well, stick under. So I get my ball so funny. Okay, we got that little piece under there. He's got to get his forks under here to get this up. And he can't see anything and I've got to be his eyes. And that <laughs> could be bad, I don't know. Come on, up, down. Whew, this is fun. <laughs> okay, we got the forks under it, basically. This trailer's obviously seen better days. Slide on there, buddy. Come on. Slide back. Just like that. Yeah. Uh -uh. You got about six inches. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, now I understand better what we're doing. Taking all this mess out of here so we can use this to put more corn in. We need corn storage over here. And this is a mess. I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> Got that out. Didn't video it. I don't know. I feel like I've earned my keep this afternoon. You earned your keep, though. I feel like I've earned my keep this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> bought it that way. <laughs> the duct tape and inner tube holds the world together. Hmm. Or an old gravity body anyway. <laughs> now that I know oh, what a work. now that I know what a gravity body is, I wasn't even sure what it was. <clears throat> Why is it called a gravity body? Because you put gain in it. Oh and it just gravity. The gravity pulls it out. Okay. He's gonna put it on their flat because this is it'll travel better. He's gonna use a chain next time to get it off. I mean he he just explained it but I didn't fully understand it. But anyway, he knows what he's doing. Okay. Pick it up, set that over, and then pick the other side up and set it over. You need to get it over that board right there. Ah, it won't go. these girls and babies. Look at that one. That one's getting a supper. 
You're a lot of work. Wouldn't have it any other way though. <laughs> Fabricating. It's making the shoot longer. Here we go to get some corn. So uh, we got a little plan. We got a plan of attack or just a plan to hopefully keep things going around here and not lose our butts. I will, uh, I'll explain in a little bit. Gus, you're not gonna be able to sit there. It's where daddy sits. Unless you're driving. Are you driving? Yeah? We'll see. the corn out of that silo. It said it's at least another probably two loads. I don't know. And evidently this thing is very slow because it's a three inch auger. Three inch? I think that's what he said. Uh, yeah, I guess that will take a while. He wants me to go make sure it's not throwing it off the other side when he turns that sweep on. Looks good. Yeah, you can see where this will take a while. So what it is, it's a three inch auger coming out. We're gonna get a bigger one when we get it moved to the house. <laughs> Took over three hours to load the silage wagon. in my boot. I had to get in there. I had to get in there and do something. <laughs> How deep is it right there? Like what's left? I see it's a lot over here. His all has got to put the wheel on the back to make this end sit down. That has got a little bit of wheel on it. This is what I'm going to be doing for a while, it appears. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to move something. I'm going to move it over. Okay, great. Here we go again, y'all. He needs to. He needs to move it back. Truck needs to go that way a foot. Oh, I'm really bad at this. I'm bad at directing. Uh, we'll see. Hmm. I mean, I think that looks good. Uh, I hope. Can you see me? Yeah. 
thumbs up. It is. It's in the center. I mean, center, centerish, center enough. I hope. Okay, that that went relatively well. Back, back to this sweeping. Because I'm bored, I'm just going to keep talking to my phone. What I'm finding here is, I can tell, I'm going to get sunburn right here. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to start rotating myself. I'm going to rotate. Rotisserate. That should be a word. Rotisserate. I'm going to rotisserate myself so I don't get burnt in one spot. Yeah try to even out the farmer's tan. So now we have to shovel the rest. I say we, I'm afraid it's going to be me. That'll make it a little easier to get in. <laughs> you took that motor. I don't know. How much does it I weigh? Mean, he weighed 35 pounds, 100 pounds on that end. Hmm. Well, I guess I can try. Well, just grab out the motor. <laughs> bring it over here. All right. How about you, Gus? Okay, I got it. It really wasn't that heavy. I don't think it weighed 100 pounds. Anyway. I don't think it weighed 75. Maybe. Whatever. Got it. Okay. Okay, next. Here comes red and red and red. <laughs> Evidently, we have a thing for red. Uh, oh, guess what? The auger's red or the sweep, whatever you want to call it. Sweep, auger, I'm a, I kind of think it's like the same kind of thing. Anyway. taking that one out right now We're taking the broken one to our friend to hopefully fix it home again home again jiggity jog now to grind a load we're gonna grind load and then take that back over there tomorrow because we're running out of daylight and get the rest out with a broom and a um, shovel. Never done that either, so there's something to look forward to. <laughs> Have you had a good lazy afternoon? Hmm? That's what I figured. Back old Gale up. Had to crank the. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. It's 
just won't be still. I'm leaving to go find internet. I'm leaving to go find internet. <sighs> because it's just not working at my house. And I'm having a hard time finding it that works good in town since the library's closed. One spot will work good one time and then it won't work another. So I went this morning, loaded one for my new channel, my cooking channel, and the one wouldn't load that I need to post. So anyway, first world world problems. First world world, say that five times fast. Um, I also, I know I had said we had a plan and I was gonna tell you about the plan. I'm gonna do that real quick. So we fall calf and we typically sell our calf crop, which is our cash crop. It's our paycheck, it's our yearly paycheck, other than the few that we slaughter for beef. Our, the majority of our calves are sold in the spring. Um, that's what we do with them. We are a cow-calf operation, that's what we do. Well, uh, for the past few years, we've been selling to a buyer, one, one buyer, and um, before that, we used to just take them to the stockyards. Well, our buyer has backed out this year, it looks like. So uh, what we've decided to do, because we also had some extra corn that we couldn't get sold and we don't wanna take a hit on, we're gonna feed out our calves this year. We're gonna wean them, we're gonna work them, we're gonna wean them, and we're gonna feed them out to eight weights. That means eight, eight weights, 800 weight. Um, and hope and pray that the cattle market is back up towards the end of summer. So that's our plan. We're gonna feed them, feed them, and hope for the best. Um, that's what we can do. And we can only do what we can only do. We just hope it all works out. Just really didn't like the idea of having to give them away. And that's basically what people are doing. They're selling calves right now. They're giving them away. So, all right, let's go find some internet, Bonnie, and then get home and do supper. And it's been a busy weekend. It has been a busy weekend. Probably gonna have to wrap this one up and catch you on the flip side with the rest of the corn unloading. And then before long, that bin is gonna have to be taken down. It's gonna have to be taken down and put back up here. That'll be interesting. It is a gorgeous day though, and I'm happy to be here. Happy to be able to be outside and work in it. Take care, y'all.